uh, hey guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this segment also guys this is my second video in vmware vsphere uh, so i'm just talking about the basic concepts uh, first of all in this uh, segment i hope this video will be informative and uh, what uh, i have seen lots of people uploaded videos about the configuration directly even they have not explained about what what the component and what it is actually what is the architecture what is the structure of vmware how to use where to use what and all are what and all are, are the required components and technology basically they just started about the configuration and all so what i'm trying i'm just trying to share the basic basic foundation first of all then i will be talking about the configurations in my coming videos so this is my second video and in this also i'm just talking about what are the characteristics you can say or what are the aspects of virtualization or how you can virtualize your computer or your infrastructure just basic information and uh, this will be very helpful i'm sure and uh, if you feel it is informative please don't forget to subscribe my channel comment on this video share this video and like this video if you want more videos you can just subscribe my youtube channel this is my youtube channel where i upload lots of videos on different different technologies azure microsoft and uh, security lots of things you can find it out from here as so of now uploaded some around uh, if you see here uh, it should be like you know near near about 400 videos and azure and blah blah lots of things you can check it out and don't forget to click on this icon button so it will uh, you know give you all the updated videos notification here like this what i'm getting notification who else is watching my youtube channel and they are commenting and their queries and all so this is the basic introduction about my channel guys now let me begin with this so first of all i will tell you a couple of uh, you know basic things if you are using vmware vsphere for virtualization so it virtualizes virtualizes and aggregates the underlying physical hardware resources across multiple system and provides pools of virtual resources to the data center so the meaning is very simple you ha you have one, one system this is your one system so it will make it or it will split it in multiple virtual machines okay and this is what it is also called pool the basic basic concept about it so resources mean it could be like your network your data uh, data storage couple of things i will explain in detail in coming up videos this is just the basic introduction about it okay now next thing virtualization is a process that breaks the hard uh, connection between the physical hardware the operating system and applications running on so it is a process of breaking hardware connection between you can say hard connection between your physical computer and operating system what you have installed and what are the applications running on this and i am sure guys you may not understand here each and everything very clearly but in coming up videos each and everything you will be able to understand very nicely what does it mean by you know breaking hardware physical hardware and operating system and app applications running on it so this is a basic introduction next about uh, next thing in this after being virtualized uh, uh, in a vsphere virtual machine the operating system and applications are no longer constrained by limits imposed by uh, residing on a physical machine so the meaning is very simple once it is virtualized one once your uh, operating uh, once your physical machine is virtualized there is no limitation for anything okay you can have multiple operating system you can have multiple applications to be installed on uh, multiple virtual machines next thing now virtualizing a computer or server how you will virtualize your computer because you got one one pc here so you have to virtualize it you want to make it multiple virtual machines so how it happens so for example i'm talking about uh, very very earlier thing here see this is this is called x86 this is called 32 bit computer okay so the 32 bit computer hardware is designed to run a single operating system i'm talking about very old uh, uh, technology and single application so when it came it was like limited uh, for example i'm telling so you can have one operating system and one application only leaving most machines un underused so this is what the simple concept here okay now e uh, even with many applications installed most machines are underused so you got limitation here now what will happen at the most basic level 
virtualizing lets you run multiple virtual machines on the single physical machines now you are virtualizing you have this kind of problem so you want to run multiple operating system multiple applications so you are virtualizing that physical machine so what you will get here with each virtual machine is sharing the resources that one physical computer across multiple environments so you got this one machine okay now you virtualized it in four or three so whatever resources here it they, they all three will share that is the concept of virtualizing a computer okay so all will be taking resources if you are giving how it happens i will show you with a simple example in next videos now different virtual machine can run different operating system and multiple applications so you got three of three virtual machine you can have here windows 7 here you can linux or here you can install whatever you want like server or whatever and the resources will be taking from here all if you want to give 4 gb here so it will take from here if you want 16 gb to this it will take from here so this is your physical machine and you got virtual machine so this is how you can virtualize your computer for that you will have to use vmware either or vsps and other uh, technologies also available next thing now you understood uh, how to virtualize or what does it mean by virtualizing the computer and now virtualizing the computer and adding virtual machines so uh, here you got you just what you got one simple system this is example okay you got one system that is before virtualization so what it is having it is having one operating system and it is a physical computer which is having 32 bit hardware basically cpu memory video disk and network so this is a computer now if you, so you have not virtualized it okay now what will happen if you are going to virtualize it so for that you will have to use one esxi uh, full form of this esxi is like elastic sky and x is is a version what version you are using that is also known as hypervisor and here you got app and operating system as of now okay what will happen now now this this was your uh, you know uh, physical computer okay where again 32 bit operating system cpu memory videos disk and network so this is your computer this is this is your hypervisor you have installed here now what will happen this is became virtual machine after installing hypervisor on this now what will happen a systems operating system application abstracted into virtual machine on a host so this is called basically host where you are installing hypervisor okay and all got abstracted into virtual machine basically so this is the very simple example how it works and how it will be changed after virtualizing next what will happen this is a virtual machine complete virtual machine so this is a process this one was process you will have to install hypervisor on this or host basically esxi host so what will you you will get you will get complete virtual machine so now this is your physical machine is still okay on this you install one hypervisor esxi host now you can get multiple virtual machines like this so you can install solaris windows linux windows 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 whatever operating system you want to install you can install so you got multiple uh, virtual machines here and you have only one physical machine here so this this is your virtual machine and this is your physical machine now a single system now hosting additional virtual machine so this is your main physical computer main system server and it is hosting multiple virtual machines so this is the concept of virtualization virtualization basically using uh, hyper uh, using vsphere or vmware or other uh, other virtualization technologies virtualization technologies now guys in this uh, see, you know in addition to virtualizing a single physical computer you can build an entire virtual uh, infrastructure with vsphere vmware vsphere is scaling across thousands of interconnected physical computers and storage devices so if you want uh, to make a uh, huge or enterprise level of uh, you know network infrastructure you can do it you can use multiple uh, storage devices computers servers and they, they, they will be uh, connected properly i will show you one example here but before that i will show you uh, speak about two more things using virtualization you can dynamically move resources and processing 
and allocate hardware resources so you can allocate how much uh, resource this Linux system should use from this physical machine okay you can allocate and how much RAM processor and all this should use this is called allocation basically next thing you do not need to assign servers storage and network bandwidth permanently to each application now see the infrastructure can span many physical devices very simple here you got so many ESXi host here like this this is example and every host is having multiple virtual machines 1 2 3 4 5 basically here okay now you have enterprise servers you got one server here 1 2 3 4 5 like this so you can connect all the servers and even you can connect your entire infrastructure even it is in different different uh, you know locations you can connect your entire infrastructure and this is what your uh, you can say storage basically okay so there is no limitation for that you should not uh, worry about connectivity you will get each and everything very nicely everything is possible you can connect enterprise network enterprise servers and multiple host ESI host so guys a virtual uh, infrastructure consists of following components so there will be couple of component first of all where metal it is a it is a hypervisor to enable full virtualization on each computer so as I told you you would require one uh, hypervisor here and it will be installed on physical computer that will enable you to create multiple virtual machines and run virtual machines okay so this is where metal basic uh, component bare metal hypervisor okay first component and virtual infrastructure services services such as management to, uh, sorry virtual infrastructure services such as resource management to optimize available resources among virtual machines okay and automation solution that provide special capabilities to optimize particular IT process such as provisioning or disaster recovery so these are you know component basically or you can say we can uh, have all those things to make it work easily easy so guys in this video this much information only I'm sure this will be helpful to understand the basic concept of virtualization how you can virtualize your one computer how you can connect your enterprise network how you can connect uh, your enterprise servers and you can create multiple virtual machines and uh, in next video, I will be talking about uh, VMware, Sphere, Sphere, VSphere, a platform for virtualization and cloud infrastructure. This will be my topic. So in this, I will be talking about cloud infrastructure, basically how we can use or how it is useful or how it is connected or related to uh, cloud computing or cloud infrastructure, VMware, VSphere. So this that will be my third video so guys if you want to subscribe this is the url of my youtube channel this you need to put to youtube.com slash e slash ccn mcitp or you can search me by my name itself narang bagel so till then bye bye have a nice time